Well, here we are, uh, third time around, uh, presenting uh, Monono. Uh, we believe it's the world's largest undeveloped hard rock resource for lithium. Uh, so a couple of disclaimers that we need to, uh, to show you. Um, corporate snapshot, very simply, uh, 2.3 billion shares on issue, uh, currently running at around about five and a half cents. Uh, market cap of around about $130 million. Uh, cash at bank around about two, and uh, we've got some more money coming in in the next month, about $14.1 million. Um, essentially, we have uh, a 400 million tonne uh, resource running 1.66% with uh, 270 million uh, of those tonnes in measured indicated, which we're using in the current feasibility DFS to complete our uh, um, DFS uh, study and conversion to reserves. Uh, the latest corporate updates for us are basically we've uh, secured uh, an investment from Yibin Tianyi. It's a, a new startup of uh, a hydroxide plant in China. Uh, they're very keen on um, uh, progressing uh, in stages to 100,000 tonnes. Initial one's 25,000 tonnes and they're a partner of cattle. They have a 15% interest and a swap holding as well. Uh, so we've been to site, had a look at that, and we're very pleased with the uh, reaction they have to uh, stepping up to the plate with uh, the investment, and then also with uh, uh, ongoing offtake from the uh, the project, which is yet to be negotiated. Um, strong cash position, as we say, uh, post Yibin Chanyi's money coming in, there should be approximately $13 million in the bank, which will allow us to finalise the DFS and do some pre-site uh, works. Uh, we have uh, just improved the board uh, with the appointment of Dr. John Clark, uh, who's uh, an African hand, uh, 40 years experience, and he'll be uh, helping us with uh, moving the project forward. Uh, board obviously experienced uh, with geologists, engineers, metallurgists, uh, and accounting. Major milestones over the last uh, couple of years. Uh, I'll just touch on the last ones there. Obviously, we've um, July of this year, we appointed GR Engineering to complete our DFS uh, on the engineering side. Uh, that project or the DFS is approximately 85% of the way through. Uh, October, uh, positive results from our first uh, metallurgical test work uh, showing that we can produce a 6% concentrate uh, without too many issues, just using a straight uh, uh, DMS uh, concentrate. Um, Confirmation of the increased stake in, uh, in the project through acquisition of 5% from uh, our joint venture partner. Uh, we've paid a deposit on that, but we will be looking to uh, secure that uh, in the next two years. Um, John Clark, as I've mentioned, has come on board. Um, and then Yibin Chanyi with the 14 million. And then uh, just recently, we managed to secure an MOU for the Pianamwanga Hydro facility, which is located approximately 80 kilometers away from us. Uh, it's uh, in disrepair, it needs reconfiguring, uh, but we believe that will provide us with uh, an economic bonus um, by reducing our cost from about 40 cents a kilowatt hour to about 4 cents a kilowatt hour. We're very much exposed to the lithium price, and as you would probably want to know if you're sitting here uh, interested in this, the uh, lithium price has been lagging. Uh, we're sitting in around about 450, 500, depending on who you speak to, but Obviously, we are backing that uh, that price will soon be uh, turning the corner and coming back. Uh, and if we're timing everything for two years to be into production, we're expecting a, a reasonable price to be uh, had when we're actually in production. We completed a 5 million tonne scoping study. Um, the outcome of that was basically, and this is uh, completed to a 35% uh, plus or minus accuracy, uh, that showed us a, a $2.63 billion uh, in, uh, MPV on a 100% basis, an internal rate of return of around about 64% and a payback period of uh, under uh, three months, uh, sorry, three years I should say. Um, modelled only to a 20 year mine life, uh, we have a lot more resources in the background for that uh, and that only consumed about 25% of the Jork resources at that stage. Peak production, 1.1 million tonnes of concentrate if we wanted to go down that track at 5.8% uh, lithium. Very low strip ratios of 0.5 to 1. Uh, we believe we can improve on that. Uh, high feed grades of 1.58%. We have already improved on that. Um, very low deleterious elements in the forms of uh, fluorine at 0.1, phosphorus at 0.3, iron running about 0.4%, 0.3% in the concentrate, 0.9% in the resource. And uh, of course, uh, mica is the only other one there, 2%, but we believe, uh, well, we have taken it down to about 1%. 
Um, costs for that project on the DFS, sorry, on the, on the scoping study, $380 million is what we require. Uh, we've obviously taken that as a first uh, stage and we've moved into um, the DFS side of it. The upside for us there is we have uh, tin credits and some coltan credits. We have 300,000 tonnes of tin in the resource at the moment, which we're investigating uh, recovery of. We're uh, looking for finance at the moment. Uh, the DFS is uh, sitting at 90%. As soon as that comes out, we'll be engaging uh, in earnest with uh, financiers for the project. Stage one capex at the moment is looking around about $250 million, which includes uh, two-stage crush and HPE GR grinding, uh, DMS only, four and a half million tonnes throughput with 750,000 tonnes of product. Uh, at SC6, our latest result uh, as of today, uh, which we announced, um, is a 55.7% uh, recovery at a 6.3% uh, grade. So, uh, and that's using an HPGR crush system. It's the first time we've done that. We've got a little bit more work to do on it, but we think we can improve that even further. We have already been uh, in discussions with the DRC government, the president and the mines minister, and we have their long-term support for this project. They see it as a catalyst for the region. Uh, and we're in discussions with several interested parties on offtake, offtake financing, uh, strategic investment through uh, investment in equity in the company, but also in the project itself. And we look forward to uh, engaging with the government further on the PPP and the SEZ that we're trying to uh, secure for the project. Strategist, the, our strategy is extremely simple. We're going to start off with the DMS plant only. We'll then move to uh, do test work on the fines recovered from the DMS plant. Use those for test work on flotation, fit a flotation plant to site once we know what we're dealing with. And then we're looking at uh, the final stages, obviously, to put a hydroxide plant on site. We're not disc discounting the fact that we might be able to put a sulfate plant on site as well uh, instead of a hydroxide. We certainly have enough uh, power within the Pianamwanga system to be able to, to run those. It's a general layout of the DFS site. Uh, in pink, obviously, is the, uh, the, the flooded pit, the pegmatite. Uh, everything sits to the southeast of this, uh, fairly easy layout, uh, it's quite flat lying. Um, we have been investigating that with geotechnical investigations so far and everything seems to be stacking up in the right manner. Phase one test work results uh, we've touched on already. Uh, we produced a, a reasonable concentrate of 5.8%. Uh, we have used dense media separation. Um, tin also comes with that. We recover about 30% in a heavy metal concentrate. DFS schedule, we're looking to complete everything by February and have the report out in quarter uh, one, it's obviously March of this year. Uh, we, as I said, we've, we're up to 90% of the DFS already. Um, it's being written and reviewed as we speak. We have uh, three or four items that need to feed into that, which should happen in the next uh, three weeks or so. And that will allow the EPC to be awarded and uh, tendering for that package to go out so that we can start looking at pre-construction. Export routes we're talking about now, we originally looked east towards Dar es Salaam uh, using a, a combination of road and rail. We are now looking to come south from Monono on a 300 kilometre dirt road to get to the head uh, railhead in DRC. And from there we have the option of going through Tazara to Dar es Salaam, out to Lobito and Angola and obviously down into, uh, into Southern Africa. Project timeline, as I've said, we're looking to get this uh, feasibility completed by quarter one of this year. Uh, transport routes confirmed, licensing and permitting organised in 2020, and then we look to be getting pre-construction and construction sorted out for 2021 and into uh, production at the end of 2021. Pianamwanga we've touched on, uh, it, that's the facility. Uh, private uh, public partnerships with the government, we're looking at those at the moment as well. We're very keen to get those progressed. We're also looking towards to get uh, towards a, a, a zero um, carbon footprint by having uh, a green mining scenario with electric trucks, shovels, etc., essentially powered by the Pianamwanga facility. In summary, world-class project, economics are extremely good, strategy into fast production, uh, timing on the back of uh, an increase in, uh, in the, um, the price for lithium, and we're leveraged very much to that, and uh, we have excellent liquidity in the company at the moment. That's it uh, in a nutshell. We're at J5 if you'd like to come and uh, see more information. Thanks very much.